Hello, this is Vace Manassian. In this video, I'm going to show you how we perform our high uterosacral colpo suspension following a hysterectomy that has been performed already. I'm the chief of urogynecology at the Mass General Brigham Hospital, and I'm also an associate professor of obstetrics and gynecology with the Harvard Medical School. As you can see, I have grasped the uterosacral ligament, initially distally, and then with the pointed index finger, I'm showing you the high uterosacral ligament, which is grasped by the uh, Alice clamp. So this stage involves placing an OPDS suture through the uterosacral ligament typically at the level of the ischial spine in a figure of eight fashion. This is the most distal suture and we're going to place three interrupted figure of eight OPDS sutures 0.5 centimeters apart going from distal to proximal. With this suture we're passing our second OPDS and then this is demonstrating the passage of our deepest or the most proximal suture. Similarly, on the patient's left side, we're going through the most distal suture, through the full thickness of the uterosacral ligament in a figure of eight fashion, followed by a second stitch again in a figure of eight fashion. And then the most proximal suture is the closest to the sacrum, the higher you are, the safer it is, and the further away you are from the ureter. The concern here is to be either too close to the ureter or around the area of the ureter, which may potentially kink the ureters. This step is followed by a cystoscopy, and this video was made about five, six years ago when we still used indigo carmine. And nowadays we use a peridium, which shows orange color to the urine as it's effluxing from the ureters, and we're ensuring patency of both ureteral orifices. This step is then followed by passing the uh, uterosacral sutures through the vaginal cuff. The most distal suture goes through the corner of the vagina, both anteriorly and posteriorly. The next suture is brought medial to the corner suture. And the most proximal suture, which is the deepest suture, is brought through the middle of the vagina, both anteriorly and posteriorly. I go through the full thickness of the vaginal cuff. I don't worry about the suture not being on the external Cuff because this is a PDS suture which will ultimately dissolve within three to four months. A similar process is performed on the patient's uh, contralateral or left side with the most distal suture going through the corner of the vagina, the next suture up going medial to the corner suture, and the most proximal or the deepest suture is brought through the middle of the vagina. Once all the sutures are placed, if there is still a gap in the midline, we use a figure of eight ovicral suture to close the gap, but often there is no gap left because you're concurrently suspending the cuff and closing the cuff with all these six PDS sutures. We start tying the sutures and suspending the cuff, which will nicely go up towards the sacrum. One suture at a time, and we tie all six sutures. And we're demonstrating here how adequately the vaginal cuff is suspended. This step is also followed by a cystoscopy to ensure adequate patency of the ureters and then this completes this video thank you for your attention